So when it comes to smartphones, today in 2022, there's primarily just two players, Android and Apple. Those are kind of the two smartphone, what are called platforms. There used to be Blackberries, um, Windows, uh, Microsoft, I should say. Microsoft made a smartphone for a while, but Microsoft no longer makes smartphones. And Blueberry, uh, or Blackberry, I'm sorry. Blackberry just stopped manufacturing. They're out of business. So there's only two types of smartphones, Android and Apple. Now, with Android, you might have a Samsung, or you might have an LG, or you might have a Sony, or you might have a Acer. There are hundreds, there's 1,300 different manufacturers of Android phones. There's only one iPhone, and that's from Apple. So that's a big difference between these two. Android, there are lots, there are thousands of Androids. There are only eight iPhones. So when it comes to managing your email on your smartphone, both of these devices have a built-in app that can handle your email. This is what the app looks like on an Android, and this is the mail app on your iPhone. You can use either one of these. Um, again, depends on whether you have an Android or you have an Apple. But um, I could use this mail, this built-in mail app to manage my email, but I don't. I'm a big fan of downloading the specific app for your particular email. So what do I mean by that? If you have a Gmail account, I recommend that, that you download the Gmail app. If you have a Yahoo account or an AOL account or an Outlook, Hotmail or MSN account, I recommend that you download these individual apps for your specific email provider. The reason is because there are additional features and benefits for each one of these that, that these apps don't provide, okay? I'll just, I'll just use the iPhone, for example. If you have an iPhone and you use this to, to manage your email, that's perfectly fine, okay? But this manages all email the same. So if you have an AOL email or a Gmail or a Yahoo, this app manages every email provider's email the same. And you miss out lots of times on the benefits and some of the features that come with the individual app for that service. So I recommend if you have a Gmail account, download the Gmail app and so on. That's my... That's my recommendation. So let's do a quick smartphone email demo here. Okay, so I've got my iPhone plugged into my computer so you can see what's on my, um, on my smartphone here. I've got lots of apps. I got lots and lots and lots and lots of apps. Um, I do have my mail app that comes built in with my iPhone, but I, I don't use it. Instead, I use my Gmail app because I have a Gmail account. If I had a Yahoo account, I'd download the Yahoo app. The number nine here does not refer to how many emails I have in my Gmail account. It refers to how many unopened emails I have. So lots of times, this number is huge. You might, your number might be 600. The, 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 the largest number I saw was like 415,000, something like that. Um, so that nine refers to nine unopened emails. If I tap on that Gmail, it opens up my Gmail and it brings me right to my email that is in my, on my phone. Here is the photo that I 
emailed myself. And what I can do, because I have multiple Gmail accounts, I can manage all, all my five or six Gmail accounts through one Gmail app. And here they are. So these are my various email accounts. And I can just tap. If I want to get into this email account, I can just simply tap on it and get into that email account. The way I've got it set up is I have it set up for all inboxes. So what that means is this email, this email is actually going to one of my five email accounts. Each one of these is going to a different email account, but they're all Gmail. They're all managed in my Gmail app. If I want to open up that email, I can tap on it. There's the photo that I just emailed myself. If I want to delete it, there's my trash can. Or I can simply, if I want to delete an email, I can simply swipe my finger from right to left, and it's gone. If I want to delete this email without opening it, I can basically clean this up really quickly just by swiping my finger and going down this list. Swipe, delete, swipe, delete, swipe, delete. It's gone. So, like you, you know, I receive emails that I don't even want to open. I know who they're from. Lots of times they're junk. I don't even want to bother opening them. So if I don't want to bother opening them, I just swipe and hit delete. If I want to delete multiple emails at the same time, I can tap on, this, on the round symbol here, and then it puts a check mark. And I can basically just go down the list here skip the ones that I want to save and just go down and go boom, 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 check, check, check. And I can skip the ones I want to keep and then hit the trash can. And I've just deleted 14 emails just by going boom, 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 down the list. So there's multiple ways to delete an email. And to, and to manage your email. Um, again, I, I use Gmail, so I downloaded the Gmail app onto my phone. And because I have that, I have access to all these different settings. Where are they? Let's go all the way to the bottom here. So I've got settings here. And in here, I can, I can set up specific settings for each individual email account. I'm not going to go through that today because there's no, no point in doing